This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have dice, accessories, game master screens, home decorations, and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Elf King role-playing game. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG where you get to experience the glory and melancholy of immortal elves, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about troll and mortal characters, as well as creating characters with previous experience. Whilst character generation necessarily emphasizes the creation of fake characters, it is possible to use similar methods in order to create both troll and mortal characters without too much trouble. We might assume that such characters are somewhat atypical of their kind, perhaps those who have spent many years in proximity with the Fae of Aeas and have built some kind of reputation amongst these people not usual in ordinary circumstances. Suffice to say, both troll and mortal characters are guided by the values of the same traits that fake characters are in terms of virtues and their creation. The slight differences will be in the bloodlust feature of these characters, as well as certain differences perhaps in starting equipment, though this might not always be the case. Troll characters will generally prefer non-edged weapons, and mortals will often be equipped with iron weapons. Glamours as well as language use will also require some consideration. Very few mortals are gifted in the realm of magical abilities, and troll spellcasters will often resort to troll secrets as opposed to fey glamours. It is generally recommended that only experienced players roleplay as troll or mortal characters. Now when it comes to creating characters with previous experience, Elf King isn't a level-based system, but there are specific landmarks which are described that serve a similar function. The status of becoming a thane or hero, for instance, is a point in fact. It is generally recommended that beginning players start with beginning player characters, but if you decide to play as an experienced character, it is best to assume that that advanced character starts out with social connections, powerful artifacts, and valuable objects to reflect that character's previous life events. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about skill tests. When it comes to these mortal and troll characters, I think they are going to be very fun to roleplay as, but definitely you have to familiarize yourself with the differences when compared to the fake characters, but definitely consider it. You could even run an entire campaign focused on the trolls or the mortals if you want. And the creation of advanced characters is also not that complex, but definitely I would recommend it for advanced or experienced players that is perhaps with two or three games under your belt. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member or using the super thanks button. You can also check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, roleplay solves everything. Once again, thank you and see you later.